and welcome to the first real-life human-paced world-scale stochastic gradient descent where you are the gradient. Okay, I know this sounds stupid, but I will explain, I promise. But first, let's dive to some motivation history. So if you're part of the AI community, you have most likely came across this new website by Google called Notebook LM, where like you can upload your PDFs, either those being academic or like, like personal, and then you can have a chat with them, like ask questions. And there is like this fun feature where you can like create a podcast uh, where the two people discuss about uh, the topic of the papers that you uploaded. So I did that for a couple of papers because I wanted to get like very fast information, but I stopped liking it after a while because there is a lot of banter and at the same time, there's no so much dive to the technical details. So I thought I will create one uh, podcast creator myself. Okay, but going through the internet, of course, I realized that I was not the only one that wanted to make their own PDF to podcast project. So among the many ones that I found, this was one of the most promising and it's actually three months old, which means that it may be older than the Google's uh, podcast maker. And, and another and like favorite choice is the podcast maker that uh, Jay made. So if you don't know Jay, like I really suggest you watch his channel because it's really fun. So he's a Grok enthusiast uh, that uses like Grok to make everything. And uh, he made his own podcast, which is also really, really good. And like it's free since you can use like Grok for now. So in the last couple of months, uh, I saw some projects grow very fast, projects like Ader, Cloud Dev, Agent Zero. And many times I had this idea of self-improving prompts. You see like in these projects, uh, sometimes the agent makes a, a mistake and you have like a feedback. So the idea was like, how can I use this feedback to improve my prompts? And I really wanted to make something uh, like this, especially for like coding agents, because you also have the benchmarks and with the benchmarks, you can see if the prompts will improve. But I had like two problems. The first problem that writing code for that, it will have taken me too much time. And the second problem was that if I want to evaluate uh, this, uh, this mechanism, I need to pay a lot of money out of my pocket, which was not possible. Okay, but one day I discovered Discover AI, which is like another very nice YouTube channel about AI, which is like kind of the opposite of the Jay's channel, where it's like there is uh, uh, packed with a lot of information, uh, but without any hype. So like it's for me, it's nice to uh, it's exchange between watching Discovery AI and watching Jay. Like one gives me like a, a lot of tension and information and the other makes me feel nice. <laughs> so, yeah. So that day, Discovery AI was talking about text grad, and I will not go too much detail about text grad. I, I really suggest to for you to watch the video or go to the web page. But the rough idea is that text grad is a way, an automatic way to optimize prompts. So there is a, lo a lot of analogies and abstraction from a real gradient descent where you have like a loss function and you take the gradient of the loss function and then you move towards the the, the direction of the gradient to improve the parameters of the function. So here the parameters are like prompts, you have some type of loss function, you calculate some grade, and then you change the prompt in a way to have a better result. So if you like a more heads-on approach and you want to learn about TextGrad in a more practical way, I really suggest this channel and I suggest this channel uh, in general because uh, this guy explains very well and it like a, it's obvious that he loves what he does so for me it's like a very nice learning resource for application oriented things so okay now i will explain a little bit of how my website works i'm aware that this is a very ugly site but i'm really bad at uh, designing uh, if this project uh, improves i will try to find somebody to help me uh, but for now, let's let's dive a little bit into how it works. First, you upload a file similar to how the uh, Google's uh, site works, and then you press create podcast. So the creation of podcast actually doesn't take much time. I'm using uh, OpenAI uh, text to speech, and I take its part and I process it in parallel. So usually it will take uh, less than the uh, Google's. It will take. Also here, I'm 
requesting for you to put your OpenAI API key. This is because this experiment is quite expensive for me. And as I said, I pay everything out of my pocket. So I will really appreciate it. But if you don't have uh, the money, you can just leave this open and then it will use my own key uh, under the hood. And here now we already have our two podcasts. So the last podcast is the is produced with the very last prompt, the most optimal prompt, let's say, and this is a random prompt. Uh, pr prompt. So you can listen both and decide. And this decision, this vote, will actually uh, evaluate in the end how good the, this stochastic gradient descent is. It will give like actual values. And then here you can put your feedback and I, I want to emphasize that the feedback is only for the last podcast because the stochastic gradient descent is applied to the very last podcast and when you uh, send your feedback then uh, this automatically will create the gradient and optimize the prompt for the next user to use it. Okay, and if you go uh, lower, you can see like a link to this video from Discover AI, and here you will find uh, uh, this video. Uh, this is now just a placeholder from one of my favorite like uh, uh, YouTube channels, and there there is like this uh, uh, feedback, real feedback uh, area where like I. Uh, people can tell me how they can help if they want to uh, to collaborate in some new experiment or just submit new experiment ideas that uh, we can do like stochastic gradient descent with feedback. And in the end, I would like uh, I have some uh, acknowledgements and hopefully I will get some minor sponsors. And by sponsors, I mean I don't know like for uh, getting uh, audio credits with 11 labs or like getting more, more open AI credits for free. So in the hope that I can make like some other experiments and maybe some like bigger experience with bigger scale. OK, before I conclude the video, I want to discuss a little bit about how this app works under the hood. And it has like uh, three agents. I used LangGraph to create like a, a graph of agents where like the first one takes the input is the summarizer. It, ta it takes out all the key ingredients and makes a summary of all the important things out of the paper. And then the second one, the script writer, makes a first draft of the script where the essence is uh, kept, but also in a way that it will captivate the audience and like uh, emphasize to specific things. And the last agent is like the one that uh, puts the flavor. So like it decides the personality of the host and the guest. It like uh, makes like uh, the, the, the host being uh, more funny or more serious, trying to have a, 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 like a fun bander between the uh, host and the guest and so on and so on. And then the final result comes out and the user uh, uh, provides the feedback and the feedback as it is, it goes to all the agents. So all the agents received a feedback for the whole uh, output and not an individual feedback. And, and then where we have the, the part of the gradient descent, of the text gradient descent. So what we do is like we put the summarizer's input, the summarizer's output, and also uh, the summarizer's system prompt. So this is our parameter. This is what we want to change. Okay, And also we provide the feedback. And then we, what we need is the loss function. So the loss function in, in my case was to like change the system parameter in a way that next time you will avoid the feedback like that and change it, but also be respectful to your role. So this will abstractly take only the, the instructions that are for the summarizer's uh, role. And then we have our updated system prompt. But uh, what I notice is that like if you do many, many iterations, the system prompt keeps getting bigger and sometimes it also uh, gets some uh, duplication. So what I did also motivated by the whole stochastic gradient 
uh, thing and neural network optimization, I created an agent which is like a weight clipper. So what it does, it clips the weights, which means that it takes my uh, parameter, my new uh, update system uh, prompt and removes duplications. It moves a uh, lack of abstraction. It moves uh, uh, topic specific information and keeps my uh, system prompt clean. So, okay, I will mention one very last thing and then uh, I will close this video. So after I created this whole agent thing, I was thinking maybe I will make a simulation. And what I mean by simulation is that I created a new agent that uh, makes uh, gives the feedback and also an agent that given uh, two podcasts uh, for the same uh, thing decides which one to uh, which one is better. And I ran this simulation uh, and I had like a prompt user in, in my case, that was GPT-40 mini. And then I had an evaluator. The evaluator was the one that will decide which uh, uh, prompt was better. And then I ran this for uh, 12 uh, generations because again, it, this is quite expensive. And uh, I got these uh, two graphs. So what is different in the first and the second graph is the evaluator, the one that makes the decision which prompt is better. So in the first case, I also have GPT-40 mini. And in the second case, I have Gemini Pro. So depending on like if, if you are like optimistic or uh, pessimistic, you may say that like actually their preferences are similar because like you can see that in this kind of values 2,209, uh, this, uh, they both agree that this is a, a prompt sucks. And then you have like some very high values like here and here, where both agree that more or less you have the same kind of uh, performance. But then you have like this area in the beginning where the two uh, agents disagree. So the, the, first, uh, the, the, the Gemini Pro thinks that this prompt is good, but the uh, GPT-40 mini thinks that this is bad. So I run 300 evaluations. So if I run more, maybe I will see better matching or better, uh, more diversion. I don't know, but this thing uh, costed me 100 euros. And I really hope my wife doesn't see this video uh, because like, okay, this is a very expensive hobby. Uh, and again, I hope that maybe like I get some minor sponsorships and try more elaborate experiments, either as simulations or in real life. Thank you very much for watching my video.